12th graders. Um, we're going to work a little bit more on that new rhythm pattern that we've been playing around with. Um, let's go back to Liza Jane and just sing the song. Ready, go, come my love and go with me, little Liza Jane. Come my love and go with me, little Liza Jane. Ooh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Ooh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Keep the beat. Come my love and go with me, little Liza Jane. Come my love and go with me, little Liza Jane. So I know some of you had a little trouble deciding what was the beat and what is the sounds. So this time, let's clap the sounds, the pattern of the words. Ready, go, come my love and go with me, little Eliza Jane. Come my love and go with me, little Eliza Jane. Ooh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. So notice that the pattern that we clapped was different to what I was tapping on my knees. So let's try the beat on our knees again. If you want to walk it, if you like doing those bigger movements, go for it. Ready, go. Come, my love, and go with me, little Eliza Jane. Come, my love, and go with me, little Eliza Jane. Ooh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Jane. All right, now let's just take phrase four, so that's the last part of the song, and sing the whole phrase. Ready, go. Ooh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Cool, and we're going to take away the words and sing it on vu, that whole phrase. beats did we keep? Sing it in your head or sing it out loud since there's nobody around you. Keep the beat and see how many beats were in that longer phrase. Okay, let's check it. Remember this answer. So I tapped my knees eight times, so that means there's eight beats in the whole phrase. So we're going to focus just on the first part of the phrase. We're going to sing the first four beats. And that looks like this. Ooh, Eliza. Let's just do that much. Ready, go. Ooh, Eliza. So that's four beats. Taking away the words, singing it on Lou again. First four beats. to just the first two beats and what's going on there. Ready, go. Ooh, loo, loo, loo. So how many sounds did you hear on the first two beats together? Let's sing it. Ready, go. Ooh, loo, loo, loo. So give me a wink if you heard two sounds on the first Let's check it, just to be sure. Ready, go. Ooh, loo, loo, loo. Cool. Now, thinking about those first two sounds, were those two sounds even or uneven? Were they the same or were they different? So let's check. Let's see what that sounds like. heard that they were uneven. So now sing it back to yourself in your brain because this is good for your little brain things. Think how would you 
describe those two sounds at the beginning of the phrase using long and short? Just those two sounds. Hmm. So hopefully you got long, short. Let's check, see if that works. Ready, go, long, short, So we notice that the second part of the phrase on beats three and four, each of those had one even sound on them. So they're just going to be ta or quarter notes. So I can sing it like this. Long, short, ta, ta. And the rest of the phrase has some syncopation that ta, di, di, ta. And we practiced that a lot when we did syncopation, that eighth quarter, eighth pattern. So let's, I'll sing the phrase and you just sing it back. Short ta 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 di di ta. Oh, I'll do it again. You sing it back to me. Long short ta 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 di di ta. Cool. So now I want you to figure out without using letters or numbers. Figure out a way to show me that pattern. Long, short, ta, 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 di, di, ta. Using objects around the house, pencil and paper, a doodle on your iPad, whatever you got lying around. And figure out a way to show me that you understand that at the beginning of the phrase, in the first two beats, we have two sounds that are long, short. And that's your work for this, day, this week. So good luck, see you later.